Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie with Cole Morgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. This is part one of our series on electronic gearing. Electronic gearing is a method for connecting two axes together where one will be the leader and the other is the follower. This segment will focus on the leader. On the AKD, connector X9 can be either an output or an input, but not both. For the leader, X9 will be the output and can be set up in the encoder emulation screen. When the AKD is applied as the leader, we can set up the output for connector X9 using the Workbench software. In this demonstration, I have set emulated encoder mode to type 1 output and AB channels with once per rev index pulse. This will simulate an incremental encoder. Once set, additional boxes appear for the emulation resolution and index offset. Emulation resolution has a range of 0 to 16,777,215 lines per rev. It is important to note here that lines per rev is before quadrature. As we will discover when setting up the follower, it has a range of 0 to 262,140 counts, which is post quadrature. To match the input limit of the follower, we will divide 262, 140 by 4 to give us 65, 535. Setup for the leader is now complete. The cable that will connect the leader's output to the follower's input will be wired pin to pin. This means that pin 1 in the leader's connector is connected to pin 1 on the follower's connector, pin 2 to pin 2, and so on and so forth. Make sure your cable is wired correctly and that your proper grounding and shielding techniques are used. Check out our next segment, Electronic Gearing Part 2, on the setup of the follower axis. I'm Gordon Ritchie for Two Minutes of Motion. I'll see you in the next segment.